This is a 2021 Narwell HD 670. It's a 6.7 meter rib, but with loads of features based on a commercial rib, but actually made now for the leisure market, introduced by Star International down here um, near Liverpool at Birkenhead. And we're gonna show you a full walkthrough tour right now. So please subscribe to our channel, come and see us at parkhyphenadams.co.uk, but stay tuned for the full walkthrough tour right now. But if you're looking to do any upgrades on your own boat, check out our new Parker Adams Superstore. Um, just launched this year um, at Southampton International Boat Show. It's an online store dedicated to Raymarine, Garmin, Fusion, Railbrazer, and other main brands for upgrades to your boat. So check it out. But for now, stay tuned for this walkthrough tour. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales and we're here today at Birkenhead near Liverpool to show you this Narwell HD 670. Now this is a demonstrator boat. Um, it was brought into the UK by Narwell um, via Star International, who are a, a Narwell dealer. They also produce lots of um, safety equipment for commercial um, vessels, shipping um, and land-based industry as well. Um, so this boat is actually designed around a commercial rib, but it's actually been redesigned by Star International to make it into a leisure rib. So there's leisure aspects to it, but it's based on a commercial hull. And so what that gives you is a deep V, very good sea going hull. And as you can see, it's made to white GRP, very good chines, deep V, very good. And this is a 200 horsepower Yamaha on the back. This will push this boat to over 40 knots, a fantastic, stable, solid ride. It's actually rock solid. And I'll show you the differences between the normal GLP you'd normally see on a, on a rib and this one on the top sides. Um, but as we go around, you can see it's Hyperlon tubes, nice big chunky tubes. Um, these have um, depressurization valves as well. So if it gets overpressured in the sunlight, it has valves to let out the pressure. It's a little nod to its commercial side. All the commercial ribs have these. Um, the Yamaha 200, this boat's only done 12 hours. Remember, it's a demonstrator. Um, it's two years old now, used for demonstrating at shows like Seaworks in Southampton and through Europe. So you actually get a trailer with this boat. It's a extreme trailer, um, but it is European spec. So it's made to do you know, like commercial shows like Mets um, as well over in Amsterdam. So this has been designed to be able to tow through Europe. Um, it's even got a, a plate on it. But the trailer comes with the rib. And for a 6.7 litre rib, it's, um, it's actually a really nice size to tow. And once you get bigger than this, it can be a bit cumbersome, but this is a really nice, easy boat to tow. Um, I really like these chunky high pull on shoes, but you can see it also has a moulded bow roller system as well for the anchor so and you can actually it's got non-slip tread on it you can actually stand on here and it's got two cleats mounted on here as well um, as you can see here um, but as a nod to its sort of leisure side it hasn't just gone for dull colors and um, we've got a mix of the dark gray uh, red which is the red stripe through the rubbing straight um, the red handles which is a nice touch as well and almost like this carbon effect on here as well. And then we go through to the very, very light gray, I call it. It's not quite white, it's a very light gray. You can see the contrast to the white here. Um, and a really well-designed tube as well. So a commercial grade tube. And this is kind of what you get from the tube through the hull, you get the commercial grade, and then we get a bit of leisure on the top sides. Um, the Yamaha 200, as you can see on the back, and we also have a downvision transducer from Raymarine. So it's got a Raymarine navigation system on there, and it's a downvision transducer sticking up at the moment for trailing, but it does fold down. And what I'm going to do now is just show you through the top sides of the boat. So, what I'll do, it might be easier if I pop myself up and then I'll grab the camera and just show you round. Thank you. <laughs> right, we'll do a start up at the front first. Um, and as you can see, there is a, some bow cushions on there to make it into a small lounger. Remember this is 6.7 meters. This can be removed and then it turns it into now a seating area. Um, there's storage underneath, as you can see from those lockers. And then we've obviously got the anchor storage up the front as well. Um, and then if we spin around, just a sec, I just wanna show you the non-slip on there and then the two cleats with the fair leads as well. 
And then as we spin around, we see the centre console. Um, quite a nice size screen, so glass will give you a nice bit of protection. And what I do like about this, it's got a grab rail all the way around. So many times I see these without grab rails, and people step on and off the boat, the first thing they want to do is grab the screen. But in this case, it's got the grab rail around, and actually it's very useful when you're standing at the helm as well. Um, two storage lockers. Um, this one is access to the electronics as well. So you've got access to the electronics in there and the lower one is separate so it's shelved about here and then you've got a lower storage unit as well just down in there um, but if i show you so these are the moldings for the hull um, so these actually these look a bit rough but this is actually how commercial boats are built and um, they're very heavily laid up if i knock on that how solid it is it's very solidly laid up and it has to be like this to prevent cracking under heavy seas um, so it will more than withstand anything else that you're willing to to put through this boat at um, but you can see from the center console though this is kind of a leisure console um, if you're doing in contrast you can see in contrast these are made to be lightweight they're made to add extra speed to the boat um, but they're not made to be as robust as the rest of the hull. So this is kind of your mix of leisure and commercial use. And you can really see it. Most um, normal pleasure boats, all the top moldings are made like this. And they're not made to this specification. So I like this. Um, it's got a, um, it's got the deck on here as well. So the gray deck, it's actually foam. So it's soft to touch. It's not a synthetic teak, it's more of a foam. We sell a product called Vassa Deck, which is very similar to this, if not the same. Um, and there's an addition of diffusion speakers. These are light-up speakers as well. So they've got LEDs in them, and they will light up, which will lead us around to the helm anyway. And what I like about these Yamaha systems is they come with this digital readout, and it's touchscreen as well. And you can get lots of different information on here. Um, as well as, oh hang on, press OK, as well as we can get the hours, so you can see 11.9 hours in total, and it's done 18 nautical miles in its 11 hour, 12 hours, and we can slide it back across, and you get obviously your revs on here, um, you'll get your speed, you'll get your amount of fuel, trim height, as well as temperature, oil pressures, battery, and then if it has a second battery, I'll add that on there as well. So quite a nice little readout, all done off an ignition key here. And very neat fusion. Um, this fusion system has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in as well. Um, so a very nice little unit. And then we've got a Raymarine, very small Axiom here. Um, it's probably a, um, a seven inch one. Um, very neat though, sits very well. And in very good position. If I um, show you the helm seat, so we've got two jockeys. So these can be used as double jockeys as well but for one person very comfortable um, and then what i like about jockeys is that you can be very protected in behind the screen um, or you can stand up and look over and you can hold on with one hand as well so good grab handles all the way around um, steering is in a nice position actually for standing and again this kind of boat it'd be very good as a um, as a charter boat because um, we for a 6.7 meter you can get a, quite a few seated rounds the back here we've got obviously the jockey seats as well but what i like is if you are seated at the back it's very well protected and um, you've got nice back rests all the way around you feel sort of a little bit cocooned in here which is nice you're very safe it's very hard to actually you know feel like you're going to be vulnerable at all um, and again we've got this lovely um, hard grp very well built and um, there's storage locker in the back as well as two storage lockers either side and um, i'll just show you this one so quite big spaces as well. And then we've got the big locker up under here as well. And then into, into the bilges. So there is storage off to the sides. And again, you can kind of see, I mean, even look at the thickness, you know, of the floor and the way it's been built. It's very, feels very solid. It's one of the most solid ribs I've been on in a long time. Um, and then we've got this radar arch. There's a neat trick to the radar arch because it is actually um, removable if need be, but also foldable. So you can undo the screws there and this radar arch will fold down. Um, so again, if you're going through a low bridge, you can just drop it down and then pop yourself through, or you can completely remove it as well if you'd need to. Got LED lights, LED nav lights either side. 
um, and all in all a very neat little package and this is very good value um, so if you want to see how much this is come and see us at um, parker-adams.co.uk but it is a very neat boat brought to you by star international and don't forget star international are the importers for narwhal ribs so the uk importers um, it's a spanish um, company um, made in vigo in france um, sorry in spain <laughs> made in vigo in spain and then brought over to here and then finally fitted out to the leisure side by star international and they rigged the engines and everything like that so come and see it at parkhalfinadams.co.uk call us for any questions um, but for now i think i'll say goodbye um, so subscribe to our channel and i'll see you on the next video thank you very much <laughs>